So, yun na nga mga kaswap. So, recently nakapag-update na tayo sa Android 10, itong ating OnePlus 6. Since I'm running on beta version, na-receive ko yung update na to via OTA lang. So, let's see kung ano yung mga new features nito o kung ano yung mga bago na UI design na sinasabi ito based do sa change logs. So, dito ang natin may kita. So, upgraded to Android 10. Of course, yung nakita natin na brand new UI design. Medyo nag-iba na yung icon tax niya. Medyo much cleaner. And then, you can check dito sa about. Ayan. Added Android Q. Full screen gestures. Support full screen gestures in landscape mode. Tapos 4.0 na yung ating OnePlus launcher version. So, another is yung enhanced location permissions for privacy. Kung titignan mo sa ating settings. Yeah, so we have different um, permission settings. And cada app you can set permissions. Yeah. So this will help us sa battery consumptions natin. Syempre kung hindi natin niya allow yung location niya, especially sa camera din. So we can set deny para kada shots natin hindi rin siya talaga basta basta malulukit or whatever. New customization feature in setting allows you to choose icon shapes to be, dis be displayed in the quick settings. So dito yan. Ito bago yung specify dito sa customization. Kung mapapansin nyo ito yung mga icon shapes natin, no? we have yung round, we have yung square, we have itong teardrop, it also has this rectangle, round rectangle, teardrop, square, round. Then, Hide notch option is currently not available or unavailable on this version. So let's see some mga susunod na updates kung dadagdag ba nila yan. Full screen gestures added inward swipes from the left or right edge of the screen to go back. So ito, almost the same lang to na parang yung sa mga Xiaomi na phones. So side mo siya i ba back. Personally, I'm not a fan Itong bagong gestures na to Ito may may kita rin kayong parang line dito Itong line na to Pag sinwipe left mo, let's say Yung mga recent apps na Inopen mo lalabas siya. Swipe right yung mga so recent apps to technically or basically added a bottom navigation bar to allow switching left or la right for recent apps yan. so yun yung kanina then for game space yan ito isa sa pinakamaganda for me na bago it's an app or dedicated application na ando na yung mga games. Game space. Ayan. So dito preloaded or nakalagay na yung games mo. Tapos you have options then. I thought these are the options. Kung suset mo yung fanatic mode. Pag sinet mo yung fanatic mode, you can block all the notifications and calls. Restrict background to boost your game. Stop secondary scene to improve network set collection. 
So pansin mo yung fanatic mode CPU optimized na siya. So technically, it's a quick setting para sa optimization ng ng game mo, game experience, graphic optimization. So then just start playing the game. Okay, ito natin yung iba. New features na ito. Ang ating Android 10. Smart display. Intelligent info based on specific times, location, events, ambient display. You can open that sa settings, ambient display, smart display. So, ito parang ito yung sa Samsung. Yung pagka um, nilift up mo yung Ayan, so ganyan siya. Pag nilift mo yung phone mo, ayan, nakikita mo yung mga um, quick info. Like yung clock, date, and notifications. So, the way to open it or to set it up is you'll go to settings, display, and the display lift up that's contextual info and so ito yung current setting ko dito then kung ma ma ano papansin nyo doon kanina sa um customization dito rin yung pwede kang mamili na clock style ng ambient display mo and so it's pretty cool for me You can set up the tone, colors. Ito yung kanina yung shape. Ito yung button. Ito yung accent colors. Ayan. So you can also customize it. Depende sa gusto mong color. Icon pack. Ayan yung pinakita ko na yung kanina. Ayan yung font. Still, we... We have two fonts per inch. Yung Roboto and one plus late. Then, sa message naman, now possible to block spam by keywords for message. You can set that messages, spam settings, blocking setting. So, for example, dito, can set that up settings blocking settings yeah block by keyword so type mo lang yung keyword mo na need mo i-block ko let's say medyo na alibad ba lang kana with promos okay cover yeah so whenever na there are words na promo doon sa text message, ibablock na nung ating message yan. Then, ayan. So, then, one, one thing I noticed then is itong sa notifications. Pag nilong press mo yan, you have the option to mark it as important or other or turn off notification for that specific app. For example, kay Facebook, kung yung other can medyo less important siya, hindi siya masyado mag but may important lagi. Ayan o. Gets your attention with sound or vibration. Okay? So, so the, that's, uh, that's it. That's pretty much it. Yun yung bagong um, features nitong Android 10. So, kung up ko, uh, I really felt na parang medyo bumilis siya. Medyo smooth yung dating niya. I'm not sure kasi beta version to. So, there are laggy pa. I think, nung una ko tong niload or nung una ko tong in-update, ambient display is not working. So, I tried na restart ito, reboot ito. Then, after ko ma-reboot, tsaka siya gumana. So, kung ma-experience nyo yun, just reboot the device after nyo ma-install. Tapos, um, sa Antutu, I'll post the Antutu score later kapag natapos na yung, yung Antutu test ko. 
para makita natin kung gaano na yung kanyang score, gaano kataas yung kanyang score after the Android 10 update. Then for the battery life, I can notice na medyo bumilis siya. I just hope na mas ma-optimize pa yung battery nito, battery health nito. Maybe because of the new features added, especially sa, lo sa location, sa notifications, and then ambient display. I think yun yung mas naka-affect ngayon sa battery. But let's see doon sa mga susunod pa. Then, I noticed then yung current na Google camera ko na ginagamit, current version. It's not working. So, I'll be uploading a separate video for that. Mag-install tayo ng Google camera na mag-work dito sa Android 10. Yeah, so guys, that's it. Um, for those na, na nasa beta build, I'm pretty sure you already received OTA update. Pwede na kayo mag-update ngayon para makita ninyo na ma-experience ninyo itong Android 10. For those naman na running on stable, you can just wait for the stable version or kung talagang gustong-gusto nyo na you can update din naman dito sa na manually ng beta version. I can post the link down dito sa description below para ma-update ninyo from Android 9 to Android 10 beta. Okay? Para doon din sa mga gusto mag-downgrade, lasa hindi nyo nagustuhan itong Android 10, pwede kayong mag-downgrade din from Android 10 to Android 9. Ilalagay ko rin sa description below yung mga links na important para magawa natin. Okay? So next time mga kaswak, bye-bye. Thank you.